Hello everyone and welcome back to another NapTech tutorial. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the newest version of Pages on iOS, uh, in this case on this iPad on iOS 11. So let's get right into it and show you how to use Pages. Alright, so the first screen you'll see is called the splash screen. Uh, there are two sections to it, Recents and Browse. Obviously, uh, this is our first time opening the app, so there won't be any Recents, but uh, whatever documents you've previously worked on will be in this section here called Recents, so you can just open them up quickly. Uh, the second section called Browse will allow you to look at your iCloud Drive and other locations, uh, the same that are in your iOS Files app. So there's a Files app on iOS 11. Uh, these same locations that are over there will be accessible from this Browse uh, tab. Now we can either browse and find a file and edit it or create a new one directly from here and save it on your iPad or iCloud. So let's go ahead and do that. To do so, click on the top right, the plus icon. And we get this choose a template screen. You could choose a template and get started with that. Uh, it's easier and faster. They're all pretty professional and they're absolutely free. Uh, but we're just going to get started from scratch by choosing the blank template. All right, so whenever we open a document, whether it be a new document created from scratch like we have here, or a pre-made template, or a document in your recents, for example, you will get the same screen. This is where you can edit your document, add text to it, add shapes, change fonts, change text sizes, and much more. It's all done from here. So now, as you can see on top here, we have our document name, which is blank right now, since it's the template we chose. And we have uh, the basic keyboard pop-up when we click to enter text. So if you just want to uh, you know, have text in your document, you could just go ahead and type your text and then uh, after that format it. So to format text, it's fairly simple. Just select the text you want to format by uh, holding it and then going to the right here on the keyboard, there's like this A and the other A. You have some basic formatting options like text size uh, and, and bold, underline, and italic. To the right of that, we have the alignment. So it could be uh, left, center, or right. And next to that, we have uh, some more options, uh, so you can insert a comment, which is synced across devices, meaning that if you're working with someone on that document and they have iCloud and they've shared this document with you, you'll be able to see their comments and yours. You can add a link, a page break, a column break, a bookmark, a footnote, or an equation. Now, what's great about this new update is that it does add the ability to add these equations, which we could not do before. So you can add uh, math equations in either LaTeX or MathML, which is like two uh, fonts that are universally used for math. As you can see, we get like this extra top bar here on top of our keyboard with math symbols that we can use. All right, now that's pretty much it for how to add, edit, and modify text. Uh, to add any other objects, such as shapes, tables, and images, you're going to have to go to the top right plus icon right here. And we have, as you can see, different options. We can add tables, charts and graphics and shapes and images. All right, so to add the, the pre-made table, just click on it and it will be added to your document. We have the basic options to make it bigger and move it around. So these sliders here uh, in the corners, uh, we have cell numbers, uh, cell letters uh, to easily locate a cell. And you have basic calculation features uh, inside of pages here. So I could add a math equation inside of this cell and uh, use this as if it were like a small Excel or numbers table inserted into pages. And that's pretty much it for uh, tables. Now I will be showing you the customization and formatting pane. So any object you select will have different properties you can edit. And to see these properties, you have to click on this paintbrush icon here uh, on the top right as well, next to the plus, and you'll get different options based on what you've selected. So here, as you can see, I've selected a table, so I get a, uh, you know different pre-made options, but I can also edit them myself by selecting the options below. So as you can see for the table, we have fonts, grid options, and things like that. But for text, for example, we have different options, such as paragraph style, font, uh, the basic options we saw in this AA section of the keyboard, and more advanced features that are um, text specific. 
Now, if I were to add another object, the, um, the format menu, so this paintbrush right here, would change accordingly. So let's try and add a shape here by going to the plus and selecting a shape. And once I go to that pinch paintbrush icon, as you can see, it, it, it will adapt to the object I have selected to show me different objects that are relevant to that. Now, uh, in addition to shapes, we have charts, charts and graphics. 2D, 3D, or interactive. Keep in mind that obviously interactive will not work if you print your documents. Uh, they're solely based for digital, so they will work on a Mac, uh, on an iPhone, or whatever so, um, device running pages, but they will not work in print. So you have these sort of sliders. This is great if you want something visual, something you'll project, for example. Uh, so keep that in mind, uh, that it is an option. For 2D and 3D graphics, however, uh, you can just enter the data and create a graphic with those. And again, you have this formatting paintbrush sort of section that will have options specific to the graphic you added uh, that you can modify directly from here. Now to delete an object, uh, simply click on it and then you will get this sort of black uh, long hold menu. Click on delete and it's gone. For tables, you have to click on the circle that's on the top left if you're editing a, t a cell. Just click on that and you'll get that same Cut, copy, paste, delete, uh, black, select menu. All right, and that's pretty much it for how to edit a document. We do have some final little options here. On the top left, uh, this icon will give you different view options, such as turning on or off the ruler, which is what I showed you before. Uh, the word count, this is useful if you want to keep track of how many words you have. Uh, and finally, the page thumbnails, which is like a left sidebar, uh, it is a bit too much if you have the paintbrush and the left sidebar, so kind of two sidebars. But if, you're, if you really want to see an overview of how many pages you have and a preview of those, this is great right here. Obviously, the undo uh, option arrow here and uh, the export more icon. So these three little dots will give you options to export your document. Collaborate with others is, as we mentioned before, an iCloud sharing option. So if you are working with someone that has iCloud uh, and you want to be able to collaborate on the document, you simply select that, share uh, the document with them, and then you'll be able to see each other's comments and modifications. Share is obviously the basic share option. Uh, you could share it across multiple apps on your device or through email and other uh, sort of messaging platforms. Export will allow you to export it into either PDF or Word format. Uh, some other formats are there, RTF, Rich Text Format, and EPUB. Again, this is great. Uh, this was not available before. Now we have it directly on iPad, so you don't have to go through any converting or anything like that. Finally, we have some other options. Find in your document, bookmarks, document setup, other small options here that are helpful uh, in creating your document and getting it ready to export. You do have a help section, but we hope you won't need it after this video. So thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out, please make sure to give it a like. Uh, it really helps us out. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions for other videos, leave them in the comments below. We will respond. And please subscribe to our channel for more tech-related tutorials, classes, unboxings, reviews, and more. Have a nice day.